I'm not going to do a full on awareness through movement lesson, but I'm going to do a, a less enough of a lesson that you can um, understand the principles that I was talking about. If you're not a practitioner, you can know what it's like to do each part of that. So if you would, if you're sitting, I'd like you to come to the edge of your chair. Now, if you would rather lie down, you can. Um, but sitting is good. So just first we notice what we're doing because if you don't know what you do, you can't do what you want. That's what Moshe Feldenkrais said. So just notice how you sit. You don't have to change anything. There's no right or wrong. Feel your sitting bones on the chair. Feel where you sit on the chair. And feel your feet on the floor. Just be, feel your feet, and notice if you feel the heel, your heel on the floor, the forefoot, the front of your foot. Can you feel your toes? Can you feel your whole foot on the floor? Or not, whatever you feel. It's nice if you close your eyes because then you can um, really go inside yourself and you're not looking around. So feel your feet and I'd like you to feel your breath. Notice your breath. Don't breathe any different than normally. Let your breath happen naturally. Don't try to move your belly. Don't try to move your chest. Just let your breath happen from the inside. And just notice if you've got areas that are calling out to you that aren't comfortable and honor them. If you need to sit back and rest, please feel free to sit back and rest. And if you would just move over so you're sitting on your right sit bone, just very gently roll over your right sit bone to your right sit bone and back to the middle. And roll over, go over to your right sit bone, move to your right sit bone and come to the middle and go very slowly, go slower. And how do you do that? Do you tighten your belly to do that? What's happening with your breath as you do that? And please go to your left sit bone. And move in between slowly, your right and your left. And pay attention to what's happening with your ribs. One side opens and one side closes. And does your head move? Does your head stay still and you move under your head? It's not a right or wrong, it's just what you do. Or does your head move right to left with you? Notice how you do this, when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Now I'd like you to, as you continue to do this, however you're doing it now, stop and rest for a second. Just sit any way you want, breathe any way you want. And just notice how you feel. Notice what you feel. How does this feel for you? Is it, is it silly? So is there pain? Sometimes the movements are hard for people. So what do you do when the movement is hard? Do you just muscle through it? So you can stop. I tell people, only to do what they want to do, what they like to do. If this is unpleasant in any way, uh, physically, psychologically, mentally, spiritually, if there's anything about it that you don't like, don't do it. You can just sit back and relax. You can pretend. So we're going to add something to this. You're going to do the same movement, but this time, let your belly relax, let everything relax. And I'd like you to push 
Put your feet on the floor again. Feel your feet on the floor and push with your right foot and let your right foot move you onto your left buttock. And then let go. And do that several times. So if you were doing it with your muscles or with your pelvis just rolling over before, now you're doing it from your foot. And do it a few more times. What happens to your head? What happens to your ribs? What happens to your breastbone? Put one hand on your breastbone as you do this and feel how your breastbone moves over or doesn't. Come back to the middle. And feel your feet on the floor again. And now please push from your left foot, feel your whole foot on the floor or feel how it's on the floor. Maybe your whole foot isn't on the floor and push it over onto your right buttock. And do it slowly. And let's, as you push onto your right buttock, only go halfway. Don't go all the way. Push with your left foot, go halfway onto your right buttock and come back, let go. Do it a few times, going halfway, and then go all the way. You don't have to go to your end range. Don't go into any pain or any discomfort. How are you breathing? When are you breathing? When do you breathe in and when do you breathe out? Now, sometimes we might work with the breath and say, breathe in now, breathe out now, but I'm not gonna do that today. Today, I want you to pay attention to your breath. However you're doing it is good. And stop and rest for a few seconds. Like I said, this is a snippet just to give you the idea of how we use these principles, not working hard, resting, lots of rest so your brain can catch on to what's going on here. I'm gonna do another variation and then we're gonna take that somewhere else in our minds. So please go back to sitting, feel how your feet are on the floor, however they're on the floor. Now, if I wanted to, I could just from here work on just the feet, how the feet are on the floor, how you push from your feet. I'm not gonna do that today, we're gonna to go somewhere else. So please let me say it before you do it. I'm gonna ask you to push with your right foot onto your left buttock slowly, then come back to the middle and push with your left foot onto your right buttock and then come back and push with your right foot onto your left buttock and push with your left foot onto your right buttock. And do it slowly, you have to come back to the middle every time and feel what's going on with your head. Does your head go from side to side? Does it go up and down? You notice what you do. Make this pleasurable. What's happening with your jaw? Are your teeth touching? Are your lips touching? And it's okay if your lips touch because adults walk around with their lips touching, but you don't have to grimace. We're not smiling, we're not frowning, we're not working hard, so we don't have to grimace. Your lips can gently touch and keep going from side to side. Stop if you need to stop, or if you want to stop. And what's happening with your eyes? You can keep them closed and allow them to just float as if they're floating in pools of water. And then you can open them and continue to let your eyes just be. Now, if we wanted to, if we were going to do a full ATM, awareness through movement lesson, we might, we might keep our eyes still and see what that does to the going back and forth. Now, stop and rest for a minute. And notice your breath. This is the ease that I do lessons with, 
with people with MS. We're gonna do one more thing with this along with this. Go back to that same movement, but I want you to think about, think about when you push with your right foot, what's happening with your right thigh? When you push with your left foot, what's happening with your left thigh? One thigh gets longer when you're pulling, pushing with, and one gets shorter as you push. Feel the pressure on your feet, how your feet are moving your whole body. What function does this remind you of? What does this remind you of that as humans we do every day? I'll give you a hint. I'll even tell you. This is what I call walking and sitting. We're walking right now. So it's ideal. And again, we can take, go off on any tangent with this and work any part, but people in wheelchairs who haven't walked, people sitting on the edge of their bed, people lying down who can't, don't wanna sit. We're doing, we're walking right now. We, they, we go into imagination. Imagine yourself walking. We use the imagination in the Feldenkrais Method. Can you see how perfect this is? And one day somebody can do part of this lesson one way and another day they do it another way. But just because your legs don't hold you doesn't mean they can't move your ribs from one place to another. There's something they can do. We don't look at what's wrong. We're not asking people to do something that's difficult. You can stop. We're not asking people to do anything that's difficult. We're only asking people to do what's easy. And if they find things that are easy, they feel great. People feel great after this class. They've, they've worked, they've moved. And I'll tell you when it's over, we get up and we walk around and the people who don't walk around don't walk around. But for the most part, people get up and I help people, I help people up and down. I, I encourage people to bring their caregivers and I encourage the caregivers to get on the floor and do the lesson. Mm -hmm. This isn't free time for the caregivers, mm -hmm. but they get help. When I used to do big workshops um, for caregivers and people with MS and we all, everybody was on the floor doing this. So everyone can feel how everyone else moves.